This is the third part of the impeachment inquiry story. For parts one and two, please visit the Apache News YouTube channel. On the 24th of September, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi announced a formal impeachment inquiry against President Donald Trump on the grounds that Trump abused his presidential powers when he allegedly solicited foreign interference in the U.S. election process to help aid him in his 2020 campaign. The so impeachment is to see if uh, the House could officially charge the president with high crimes and misdemeanors. And so what they're looking for is definitive proof that there was a quid pro quo between President Trump and the president of Ukraine, whether America said we will withhold promised military aid until Ukraine agrees to investigate the Biden family and to see how many people knew about this and is there a cover up, some kind of obstruction going on. Now, over 70 days later, the impeachment inquiry doesn't seem to show any signs of slowing down. On December 5th, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi called on the House of Representatives to officially begin drafting articles of impeachment against President Trump. Yesterday, House Democrats unveiled two articles of impeachment against the President, charging him with abuse of powers and obstruction of Congress. Today, in service to our duty to the Constitution and to our country, the House Committee on the Judiciary is introducing two articles of impeachment charging the President of the United States Donald J. Trump with committing high crimes and misdemeanors. As the House continues to draft articles of impeachment, the next step is for them to vote and come to an eventual decision. In the meantime, all we can do is watch and wait in anticipation for what is yet to come. For now, this has been Roger and back to you guys in the studio.